Sup guys and welcome back with some more Limbus Company and we are here with another Limbus Company meme review. I don't know what number meme review this is at this point, but this is the meme review we're doing after beating Canto 6, an excellent chapter involving Heathcliff of course. Um, there's gonna be spoilers in this most definitely, so if you haven't watched the chapter or beat the chapter yourself, don't watch this video, but if you're ready for some beautiful cursed nightmare fuel, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new out here, and let's see what type of Limbus memes we have today. I'm gonna hope there's some good ones, and not some Ishmael sweat ones. Because I swear, like the last two that we've done have just been about Ishmael sweating. Lord help us. Okay, so, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> I hereby apologize officially to the Virgilius community. I know a lot of people had to do this. <laughs> Virgilius apology form. Yeah, because everybody everybody was calling Virgilius a fraud. That's that's what was going on. Everybody was disrespecting our guy. So let's see. To Virgilius Limbus, bro, what in the world? Reason for behavior. Reddit convinced me he was a fraud. Okay, see, that's your first mistake. I didn't read Leviathan. I didn't read Leviathan either. I miss Roland understand. I didn't, oh, I don't play Project Moon games. I was jealous of the red goat. Mercury was in retrograde. I hereby respect Virgilius and will not talk down to, well, talk down on the future strongest color. You know what? Give a round of applause for Virgilius. That scene with Virgilius of where he swoops in and saves the team had me so hyped, dude. Like, that was the definition. That should be the standard of what we really call peak when it comes to Project Moon, okay? Because I've said it before, we all use the word peak too much, let's be honest. But if you want to talk about a real moment that was peak, that was the moment when he swooped in. Respect, Virgilius. Papa Virgilius is a real one. Alright, so what do we got next? Canto 6 spoilers. I'm not sure how to title this one. Uh, probably happened after the Canto. Gregor? No. <laughs> what? Bro said Nelly is smashing your mom? Yes. This is absolutely canon. I, I love the way we're starting this video today, guys. Very good. Yeah, Gregor, I hate to break it to you, but your mom, she's kind of bad, though. So, Nelly is gonna... <laughs> Let me just keep moving, bro. <laughs> okay. You're not a true artist if this is enough to ruse you. What is this? This is that, and that is... Uh, is that. Did you know that there's a cactus on your chaotic mess of a desk? I am nature... Louis, get good. Hello, neighbor. The effort is back. What? Oh, say a quote of your favorite character to pr prove you're a real fan. Oh. Okay, yeah, I've, I've, I've heard this before from, like, Roland, right? Yeah, this is this and that is that. Okay, 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 I get it. I mean, yeah, that, that, that works in my opinion, unless there's something else. But we would uh, pick in Pikmin. That's that's a freaking saying. That's a quote. I am nature, Louis. <laughs> that's freaking weird. And don't get me started with Hello Neighbor. Remember the peak of Hello Neighbor? It was before the game even dropped, and then that game died once it actually came out. All right. Do you love the city you live in? All right, fellow gotcha addicts. Where are we taking our chances? The illustration. This city, living metropol uh, metropolitan dystopia, or the city. A free choice um you obviously want to go to the city not this city th the city this is a very friendly place um you could raise your families here you could become rich here um you could do whatever you want you're gonna live your best life this is where you should really go and i know i've said this a million times but we always have new subscribers that come into the channel new viewers um the moment that i got to see this quote for the first time do you love the city you live in was one like of the most chaotic stream experiences i've ever had i had the chat just spamming it messages just rolling 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 and i'm just like what is happening and then when it came to choosing the right option when you're fighting that weird robot guy whatever the hell the thing is i think i chose the wrong option too <laughs> i kept choosing the wrong option over and over and over again dude it was a mess 
but yeah, definitely one of the most iconic quotes I've seen in a video game that I've ever played personally. Definitely. Not for Ryoshu fans out here, but of course, I am a competent filth. Listen, Ryoshu is anything but filth, okay? Let's make that completely clear. You know what's funny? Right before I started this video, I made that picture right there. I put it as my profile on Limbus for the card, just like that. Except it had like a red background and stuff. So, peak made Ryoshu. You know, speaking of made Ryoshu, I actually just recorded my polls. And instead of just having a little, like, poll video real quick, I'm just gonna throw the footage into this video for you guys. So enjoy the polls real quick. And today we are gonna be pulling on the made Ryoshu banner. Y'all know, this is a highly anticipated ID for me personally and many others. If you like maids, if you like Ryoshu, it's just the perfect combination. The best of both worlds, truly. So, I haven't done any polls in this banner. I don't even have enough boxes to spark her right now, so we're gonna try to get her through here. Hopefully we can get Butler Ishmael also, that'd be great. So let's do a two for one special here. Let's try to get this done quickly. And Limbus, please don't screw me over. Okay, I know I know the next Walpurgis night will be here at some point, so I'm not trying to get screwed. So please be sure to leave a like, one like equal one prayer, subscribe if you're new, and we're gonna do it. Let's make it first ten pull. Hey, okay. All right, we got Butler Ish. That's good. All right, that's one down. One down. Now they just have to give me Maid Ryoshu. I'm cool with that. I'm not mad at all. I wanted to get both of them anyways. All right. But the power invested in me, my pulls and Limbus will be good for the rest of the year starting now. Trust. Okay, um, I meant starting now. See, and you know, boys, as we always say out here, winners win and losers lose. But we, for one, are winners because this is a unit I actually really want. So they're going to give it to me. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Easy. Winners win. Come on, boys. What, what more do I need to say? Winners win. Easy. I still get to keep some pulls. Let's go. I'd also like to say my Limbus Company pulls curse is now over. That was the quickest that I've gotten... A, a bannered unit that I wanted in a long time. These last few times I've had to pull all the way till I spark the unit. All the way like 200 pulls or something crazy. So the fact that we actually got this done means there's good things to come for us in this game when it comes to the gotcha aspect. So thank you for the likes, boys. It worked. We did it. <laughs> okay, welcome back. So, um, yeah, my pulls, they went great. My Limbus curse has been broken, boys. We have been able to get a character fast once again, and I can't wait for the next banner because I know I'll get the character fast again. Trust the process, boys. These gotcha games, they put you through hell just so you could be back at the top again, all right? It's a cycle, and we're at the top of the cycle again. Top of the food chain. All right, just want to remind everyone that we have likely fed hundreds of half-dead people to our bus by this point. What, Muf Muf Mephistopheles? There we go. Um, just because it's not shown on the screen doesn't mean it's not happening. And we just move on because, hey, F those guys, am I right? Eddie to be uh, edit to be clear. I am making a partial joke such observation. I mean, no, we've definitely fed hundreds, maybe even thousands of people to that bus, to, Mephi to Mephistopheles at this point. Yeah. Our bus has to eat good. If we want to keep moving through all these cursed-ass freaking districts and all these, you know, corporations, all this crap... We gotta make sure the bus is eating good. Vroom vroom, am I right? <laughs> so hey, you're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Okay, on to the next one we got over here. Like a what? This looks like one of them clickbait thumbnails with all these red arrows and stuff. 
Her devotion to her master only almost seems like a blind obsession. Oh, I see what you did there with that wordplay. <laughs> I get it. All right. Um, let's see. What is what is this? Basically, Canto Six. You your suffering will be legendary, even in hell. Is this a Surfs Up meme? Y'all remember that Penguin movie, Surfs Up? This, this is what this is? This is- this is- Oh my god, what- what the f- I- I don't even know what to say about this one. I haven't seen that movie in so long, but that was like a, a flashback right there. Alright, very nice. Yeah, Gregor on Starro, a new arm. Literally, this is Gregor. I've said this so many times. I'm like, bro, this is literally Gregor from freaking Limbus and Honkai Star Rail. Gallagher, you can't fool me. Bro. Like, the design is just too similar, bro. It just is. I've been saying that for a while now. You cannot convince me otherwise. Alright, um... Sassily... So, okay, Sasa Lily. However you say that, what the fuck? Canto 6, what is this? Sa okay, yeah. Sasa Lily. 50%? Sasa Lily, yes, it's Sasa Lily. Heathcliff, ah, oh, yes, Sasa Lily. Give me my vi violin. What is, what is this? What is Sasa Lily? What does this mean? Can I, can I copy and paste? I need to know what this means. What am I saying? What does this mean? What, what is this meme? Oh! I'm stupid. It just says sail. It's just the way they put it. So they're saying Sasa Lili instead of sail. Oh, I'm dumb. Man, that's how you know I'm, a, I'm stupid. I didn't even get that meme. Wow. I see, you know, I'm out of the loop with memes. I didn't even get it. But yeah, bro just won wanted his violin, man. Bro was triggered for years. Never let it go, man. Let himself go. Started gambling on Genshin Impact. Man, freaking wanted to get C6 everything. Maxing out the characters, was losing every 50-50. Has over 100 chi-chis. Man, was going through hell. And I became an alcoholic also. So I love how those two agree with each other. And Heathcliff, you, ah, yes, Sasa Lili. And then he only agrees because Kathy said it. Because he's a Kathy simp. That's crazy. Imagine being married to somebody and you, you're on simp activities because they don't give you attention and they really don't love you. And they got married just so they could help the person that they're really in love with. You know what that is? That's, that's this. You're done. Your life cooked. You might as well go pack it up, brother. You're done. Literally. Literally. All right. Um, if you didn't know, you could change the background page or well, the background of game pages on Steam. What did you do? <laughs> yeah, that smile though, bro. Oh my God! Wow, look at look at that smile. Very nice. I love how it says. They, they, they have a category that's just called Project Moon Bain, Brain Rot. What else do you play over here? What, what, what is this? Baldur's Gate? Okay. Dark Souls 3? Okay. Elden Ring? Okay, I see you have a type of game that you like to play. I, I understand. I get it. Even though BG3 is different than Dark Souls and Elden Ring and stuff. Anyways, um, let us continue here, shall we? Mm. Low tier Catherine. You <laughs> should... You should love yourself now. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, um... Here are some of the highlights of the Hunger Game tests I did, which are ac which are arguably funnier than the actual thing. Ricardo and Don get into a fight over a bag full of socks. Yeah? Uh, okay. Bruh. Pretends to be a cute girl on the interest and successfully scams an effing violin out of his savings. What? <laughs> fat. fat ass is getting fat. Dante offs himself because they miss Walpurgis. Damn. 
he didn't get to pull on the banner. Yield my hunger to claim their games? <laughs> and Ricardo have a slap fight? Ricar uh, not Ricardo, rules of hunger games rhymes orange with banana. Bluish old man dies from the shock? What? Ye what is happening? Yield my hunger to claim their games and rules of hunger games share a smoke. Cow kicked cucks. <laughs> Oh, man, Lynchin, you're just gonna forever be known as that, huh? Oh, man. What? What? Ishmael and the fault steal Nelly's bags. June throws a knife into Ricardo's chest. Catherine crashes into an arena with her spaceship, killing Heathcliff. The fault and my form empty smoke weed together. They get so high and start kissing. What? Mir this is brain rot. This is actually brain rot. Mirror salt roundhouse kicks. Clap, clap, clap. Get staggered and get staggered into a pile of... What? Guido the gnome? And I yield my hunger to claim their games and ruler of Hunger Games sleep together? Off yourself, offs himself after witnessing the below event. Little squirrel is breaking back. <gasps> Little Sir Squirrel! Rest in peace! No! That scene, bro. I was late to realize what happened in that scene, and then once I did, I was like, oh my god, that is horrible. Guido the gnome and an effing violin smoke weed together, they get so hard, so high and- high, not hard, high and start kissing. Rodian and Mirasolt play blackjack, Mirasolt loses and dies. Hex sells his liver to play roulette and dies. Don eats big tasty cake. How many slides is there? Carmen, oh boy, Carmen, that picture though. Eats big tasty cake. We don't know. Eats big tasty cake. Hung Lu and fat ass. I love how this is your poor. Um, work together to attempt to kill a effing violin, but they all, all they have have is a rock and some drinking water, so they fail. Pablo injects himself with a heroin. McGruff the crime dog appears out of nowhere and shoots Pablo in the head. Dante shoots an arrow at Farm Watch ID coming 2023, but misses and kills bluish old man instead. Marisol's arms fell off. <laughs> Best swimmer in the city drowns? Yeah, you'll be back in a minute. It proceeds to freaking disintegrate. Uh, Sinclair cries about having no bitches. Okay. Sinclair sleeps while dreaming of Cromer gripping them. Sinclair and Krumfi go on a date? Sinclair married Krumfi, and they live happily for many years and had two children. We'll be right back after this sponsor. Sup guys, and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for sponsoring this video, because you'll be able to experience Japan from the comfort of your own home. Okay, and over here we have the Tokyo Treat box for the month of April. You see it has some nice flower petals over here, nice blue going on. And then, of course, we have our Sakura Co box with also some flower petals, but pink flower petals this time around, with a nice, uh, like, dark brown color to it, to be honest, so... It is very nice as usual. Tokyo Treat is a monthly box Japanese snack subscription box. You will get up to 20 of the latest exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time, like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake Kit Kats, Ramen, and many more. And the theme for April for Tokyo Treat is Sakura Matsuri Snack Fest. Very beautiful cover over here with the festival going on, a lot of pink going on. You open it up, you're going to see different things that they're going to be talking about, such as the castle. You're going to see also we have our Kit Kat of the month, which you guys know I'm always excited about, which is a strawberry Kit Kat, which I'm sure has to be delicious. So let's go try that out. All right, my dudes, we're about to try out this strawberry Kit Kat. Of course, it's pink. And let's try this thing out. Yup. Yup. That's good. I mean, it's very direct. It tastes exactly like strawberry. It's refreshing, not too strong. So yeah, it genuinely tastes like strawberry, and it's not too overbearing. It's not like a very artificial strawberry taste. It actually tastes like a real strawberry. So for that, I actually appreciate this Kit Kat a bunch. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese artisan snack box. Sakurako is supporting local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. And for the month of April for Sakura Co, the theme is a Night of Sakura, which that is a very elegant photo you see here with the lights 
You've got the blossoms there. Very nice picture. We're going to open this bad boy up over here, and you are going to see that we are going to be trying out the blueberry hibiscus tea, because every time we try out these boxes, we try out the tea. So this should be really good, because I, for one, actually really enjoy blueberry. Okay, now let's try out the blueberry hibiscus tea. Okay, that, that's different. That is actually really different. There's like this like tangy taste to it, but you most definitely taste the blueberry in there too. So if you're somebody who enjoys that type of flavor and you really do like blueberries, I feel like this would be the perfect tea for you. I, I think this will go into like my top three Sakura Co teas that I've had. Like this one is different from what I'm used to because I've been used to so many like um grassy tastes and stuff like that but this one you really do get that blueberry taste in there for sure and here's the specialty item for sakura co for the month of april if i bring this up close for you guys you'll see this is a very beautiful glass like it has the blossoms on here it is made out of glass so make sure you be careful with this but this is really nice dude i am actually gonna go put this in my kitchen immediately in a safe place i'll put it probably alongside like my sakura co plates that i've gotten over the months and the chopsticks too but there you go, and you see it says Sakura Co. right on the front. I'd like to thank Sakura Co. and I'd like to give a huge thank you to Tokyo Treat once again for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to dive into the Japanese culture and try out treats, snacks, candies, things that you've never tried before from Japan, I would highly recommend checking out these two boxes. Especially if you enjoy tea and stuff, Sakura Co. is the way to go. If you want to try out some more candies and stuff, try out Kit Kats, other different types of treats that you've never really tried out before with different flavors, I would check out Tokyo Treat for sure. This is great to get for yourself, a loved one, family member, whatever the case is, I am sure that they will thoroughly enjoy it. So once again, I will be sure to leave a discount code down here for you guys, and I'd like to give a huge thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for sponsoring this video once again. Okay, so it says, what's your favorite Limbus related memes? Esku is just there for the giggles. I hope I catch a good meme. So I guess this is going to be a speed run of us looking through comments, trying to see what best Limbus memes there are. My days are numbered. Kanto 7 is coming. Yeah, Dawn, you're up next. What does it say? At the Limbus. Where my lunacy at? Clocky, want 10 pull? Bro, what the f- <laughs> Okay. Oh, because at the beach, where the hose at? What the f- I'm not reading that. All right. Never seen that meme before. Stagger, bro. <laughs> they all just diving in. You better get ready. They got the harpoons on deck. Oh, man. What is this? Heathcliff? And there's a crab, and the crab is writing. What? What? What are these memes? What? Pregnant? <laughs> what? He staggered. What the? What? Guys. The rent a girlfriend edit where Kathy's dreaming about Heathcliff and Linton. I can't find it, but you know the mental image? What in the world? This Kathy smiling meme. What? Just, what the hell? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here. I open up the door. Here's a psych ward for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you can you, you, come, come right in. You know, I think we both need to go in here. Honestly, Jesus. Y'all both be going through it. Mm. Bro, what is... Oh, my God. What is with these memes today? I encounter villains. I stab them. They die, they go to hell, I encounter villains, yes. Ah, uh, yes, we've got, what is it, Raja Pizza over here looking in, yeah. Oh, uh, lord. Book of Vengeance ain't gonna cut it, your sorry ass is gonna be in the death note, okay. Oh, this is great. I'd like to have a word with you. <laughs> we can Virgilius, I love it, dude. Any Virgilius memes I love. 300 lunacy, that's a meme, okay. What? Okay. Ticket to the mental hospital. Oh my god. An issue where Ishmael's standing sprite seems blurry. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? That's great. Okay. I love I love that. That was great. Let's do a few more. I'm not gonna uh 
Well, actually, you know what? I'll read this. I've been reading the Book of Dawn in preparation for the next Canto. I got to chapter 15, and this is more or less what I pictured drawn by me. We just got done with Canto 6, and I am ready for Canto 7. Well, more depression. Yeah, Dawn's gonna go through it, huh? I haven't read the Book of Dawn, but I mean, in every chapter, every character goes through it in some way or another, but I'm so excited. Give me happy images of number one goober. I feel so sick. What is this? Is this just like a Dawn compilation? <laughs> oh, it is. Mm, throwing some stones. I'm getting free candy and you're not. Everyone annihilate the scoundrel's testicles. Does thou know? <laughs> I low-key want to use this as the freaking meme picture for the thumbnail. We might use that. Bro, what? Is this Dawn with some Jordan 4s? Is that- are those 4s? Or what, 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 what are these supposed to be? 3s, maybe? It looks like they're- the 3s or 5s, it looks like they could be, honestly. Um... Behold my noble steed, Bro, what? What is going on? That's cute. Um... I am happy because everyone loves me, I'm gonna beat you with a rock. A rock until you stop moving. Does thou even shred? That that that's good. That's a good one. Oh yeah, just Dawn having your spine. Very very nice. I'm I'm liking these memes today. I'm not doing another one of these, reading these freaking Hunger Game thing. What is this? Sinclair, stop sinning. Okay, these memes are starting to get really weird. All right, what is this? Ricardo punch Dante to death. Yeah. Spoilers for Virgilius can't. What? Why? Okay. Why do Dante and the Sinners extract weaker identities than what they already have, given the risk they face? So we know the extraction is canon, and something Dante and the Sinners do to get new powers. The initiative, the incentive is totally there for them to seek out more powerful identities, especially as their abilities to handle stronger identities become better as time goes on. The process is not free, costing Uncafalon as fuel and lunacy for each extraction. The process is essential to their success as a team, as well as, you know, help them and not die so much. Well, help them not die so much. Even though they are functionally immortal, it must still be painful to die constantly. So given these incentives and the risk of getting their ass beat, um, where is it, over and over again? Uh, by someone like Ricardo, why would they seek out identities that are weaker w than what they already have? Why would they ever seek for two star identities instead of three star ones? Oh, you're going deep with this, huh? Um, why would they not constantly direct their efforts to seek identities stronger than W. Ryo uh, Ryoshu? Um, for Ryoshu, or any strong identity for Gregor. Why would they spend resources and effort? <laughs> Bro, you went deep with this one, Jesus! Why would they spend resources and effort to get a sinking two-star ID for a sinner that already has a strong sinking three-star. Are they stupid? Kremen really is correct about OCB wasting resources and doing sloppy works. Why doesn't Yi Sang, the inventor of mere technology, not simply give himself the best identities? Is he stupid? Listen, it's a gotcha game! All right. <laughs> I know canonically that this whole process is in the game because they talk about it and stuff, and then they talk about it in Dante's notes and this and that. Yes, I get it. But damn, you went deep with this. Let me see. To be fair, most of the noteworthy Library of Ruin and stuff is still above the Sinner's pay grade. Okay. So, yeah, they're just too broke. Um, I mean, we still have guns and they aren't insta-kills. A shotgun deals regularly 30-ish damage only. This was supposed to be a meme review and this turned into a deep conversation. Gotcha mechanics are justified. They just don't have output control. Mephi is dredging stuff out on an infinite vortex or probabilities. So, a lot of meaningless reality drivel is dragged along. Three-star identities come from unlikely realities. So, their, occurrence is, uh, their occurrences are rare. There you go. So, it's just rare to, to, to get into the three-star ones. This, basically, the sinners aren't working with a machine that they could output whatever they input. It's basically a claw machine that grabs whatever it can from other worlds. And based on how we tend to get new IDs, I would bet that Mephi is unable to target worlds whose possibilities haven't been encountered yet, would explain why we didn't get Wuthering High IDs until Canto 6. Hell, one of the most iconic theories actually gets backed up by this, that being Cromer and the Foss who grips 
uh, Cromer's the imposter, and what she saw was this, when we actually saw this with the Foss two grips in N. Claire's uptie story. You mean Cromer? So this future, and just trying to mimic it in our reality? And someone made a web a webcomic basically saying Cromer's an imposter, it even brings up nothing there. Whose ego is probably the cause of everything there. Inquisitors via Ega Corrosion. Okay, wow, that got really deep. Sorry, I started getting really intrigued on what was going on there. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, yeah. Hopefully you actually enjoyed that very much. Is that it? Is that where we're, we're, we're going to leave this? Yeah, I think it just, it's, it's really going to just stop there. I don't think it's going to continue loading. So I guess that's where we're going to leave off this meme review. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on the last portion of it and would like to give any more input, feel free to. This was, I think, our best one yet. Um, it wasn't as cursed. Okay, actually, no, it was cursed, but there wasn't sweaty Ishmael stuff in here. I think this one was really good. We got all types of different memes, and we actually got to go, like, deep into, like, just some theories, some lore about stuff also. This was good. This was a very enjoyable one, and you got to see my polls for Maid Ryoshu, so that was a plus in there, too. This one was crazy. So that was a plus in there, too. So... If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts over here with this video. Um, you could join our Discord server that has a Limbus Company channel in the description box below. You just click the link on the Discord. You go to Role Select and click on Limbus. That way you get the role. I've seen so many people that are in Limbus Company servers because I'll check their profile when they join, but they don't give themselves the Limbus role when they join in the server. So I have to manually give the role to them. Give yourself the Limbus role so you have access to that channel. You know, that way you could talk with other Project Moon community members that we have. So, yeah, appreciate the support. It was fun to do another meme review. I'll see y'all soon again. And as I always do say, don't do crack. Be sure to subscribe to the Special K Experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.